awesome trip. Yeah, it's excellent. Great haul. He's under, folks. He's under. Tenth one, unsuccessful. A little bit too close to this one. And I made it to Malaysia. I think I got on the bike and go south, back down towards Singapore, Johor Bahru, where my buddy Ryan is, and we have another lead on uh, McGregor 26 uh, that potentially will will purchase and sell that over to Borneo. All right, so I'm here in Johor Bahru, day 1310 or something like that. I'm not really sure. Uh, I've just been here sort of trying to figure out boats and waiting to see what's going to happen with boats. I was here uh, waiting for my buddy who's going to go over and check out this boat in Singapore, but he's had some school work to come up. So I'm going to head over there today on the bicycle. It's all ready to go. So back into Singapore and take a look at a boat tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Uh, it's a McGregor 26, which isn't like a very seaworthy boat, but uh, it'll be good enough to get over to Borneo. The question is how it's going to get back. So I don't know. We'll see if it's a perfect boat and the guy's willing to sell it for cheap, then we'll probably go for it. And hopefully I'll be sailing in a week or two, more likely two. Hopefully not too much longer than that. Although, you know, got to go with the flow. If the boat doesn't work out, then I'm going to start planning the kayak. But uh, the kayak, to do it safely, is probably going to be about 1,200 kilometers. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. It's a beautiful morning. See the sky there? I'm leaving some stuff here just because I don't need it all in Singapore. I'm going to have to come back here no matter what. I'm just going to stay with a friend over in Singapore. So should be good to go. Yeah. probably not going to work out. It's not in really great shape and I don't think the guy wants to sell it to me for 1,000 Singapore dollars, which is basically a thousand Canadian. Uh, it's too bad. I would take it, but it's really not worth what he's asking for. He's asking like, I think 6,000 for it.
back in Malaysia, just crossed the border over from Singapore, uh, I guess an hour ago or so. Pretty busy, tons of motorbikes there. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, had a pretty good time in Singapore. And I'm seriously contemplating kayaking now. The thing about kayaking is that I have to cross a different border. Like I'll have to cross from Malaysia, I'll have to go over to Indonesia and then from Indonesia back to Malaysia. And it's a much longer kayak. It's like be about 1600 kilometer kayak. And unless I got a social visa, which I don't know that I would be able to get for that area, I would only have 60 days to do it. So that would mean I, well, I would have to average 26 kilometers every day for 60 days. Uh, which is doable, but it just won't be that enjoyable, I don't think. That gives me very few break days, very few rest days. I'll be paddling every day. Or I'll, I'll have a rest day and then I'll have to paddle 50K. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hopefully the answer will come to me sometime soon. <laughs>